so you can really get in there. I can, I just get it cut up, or not, not easily. Just sort of twist it, like housing. Yeah, I'm struggling. I'm struggling, guys. Yeah. These are the decathlon bike cutters for cutting wires, not spokes. It says you can't cut spokes with these. But these are these will cut any cable housing or any derailleur or brake cable easily. Brake cable housing is the toughest thing you'll have to cut. Toughest type of cable. It's sort of, what I like about this, it really expands a lot there. So you can really get in there. Uh, sometimes in the past, when I've used other cutters, I mean, I've had to give up. And so the thing can take days, you know. It just took two seconds there. Nice clean cut. Usually you're meant to sort of put a pointer hang in there to sort of clean them. But that, that's perfect. Brake housing cable. Brake cable housing. It's the toughest cable of the two and like I say it can take you days and probably you'll think things like this are too dear but you'll end up probably buying them long term if you're wondering they come like that and you're wondering how you open them it's because there's a safety catch there I was trying to take that off and I thought that's a safety catch. I can't see any other things, special things to do like some of the other cutters. But then it cuts everything straight away. Maybe that's secret is because it expands so much. But the cutting thing must be just so so good quality. think about what that means. Then it's telling you about the safety catch, but I never looked. Really it just looks as if you put everything through the middle, there's no special special holes to do anything. At the moment it's £15 I'll call it. June 22. Yeah, we're cutting housing cable on bikes. You'll probably go through a journey. First you'll try pliers that have got a sharp bit. And you'll be able to sometimes cut the cable if it's good enough. But you'll struggle with the, with the brake housing. That must be the toughest thing to cut. And so then you'll maybe try wire cutters. Or you might buy something like that, which was about £7 on eBay or £6. It's got all sorts of bits there, you know. But then when I went to use it, I can, I just couldn't cut it. Or not, not easily. Just sort of twist it. Sometimes I wonder. Maybe if I take this bit off and get right in, but nah. Yeah, it twists it. Because the brake housing, it's got metal around it. The derailleur housing has as well, but the brake, brake I think, gets thicker. 
metal around it. And I just, I mean, look, look at me comparing it to this. Wow. So that's me for life. It may have cost 15 quid, but. And I also tried these, you know, specialist cutters. That does most of the stuff quite easily. But again, I've struggled with the brake housing. Yeah, I'm struggling. I'm struggling, guys. Yeah. I mean, I've tried stuff like hacksaws and stuff. You know. But then my hacksaw is a bit blunt, so I can't really tell. When you're doing brake housing, don't forget you get these things, ferals. Because they just protect that but yeah they're really worth it this one says for derailers but I'm just using it for brake as well I don't know if there's a difference there probably is you can never tell with bikes sometimes it, it seems obvious you can use it in different things but no you can't and then it's the vice versa at other times bikes are a bit of a mystery the cycling industry just a rant, of course we should be on wireless shifting by now, but I mean it's like a thousand pounds minimum for the SRAM, SRAM Shimano I've got wireless, ridiculous prices, Archer I've got a, a great one out which is about £400 or is it 300 still far too dear, I mean when is the day going to come when we're all wireless shifting? It should be £50 for a kit. So as I say, like something that should take a second can take you days just because you haven't got that tool on. You're probably better just splashing out £15 and getting one of these. Magnificent. This doesn't come out like that other one. I don't know if over time these will maybe go blunt and it'll, it'll become awkward, but I'm thinking no. I'm thinking these are for life. So, for all your cables, it's worth it. As usual, the Kathleen are top quality.